1933, the Gulf Oil Company built this gas station, Dunkel's Gulf. Dick Dunkel's name is still over the door. Now this gas station is Art Deco, but then again, so is this, and this, and this. You see the similarities? I don't either. But they are all Art Deco. If you want to understand Art Deco, you need to understand this. Art Deco is not a particular style. Neoclassical, that's a style. Federalist, that's a style. Gothic Revival, that's a style. But Art Deco is a term that we use to categorize the varied styles of the 1920s and 30s. Art Deco is an era. What we now call Art Deco started appearing in the 1920s on things like radios, jewelry, jukeboxes, clocks, and even diners. They didn't call it Art Deco, they just called it modern. Influenced by their own modern times. And the three major influences on those modern times, the 1920s and 30s, were the opening of King Tut's tomb, modern art trends like Picasso's Cubism, and the rise of the automobile. By the 1920s, the car had replaced the horse as the preferred transportation method. America was being transported. Dirt streets, hitching posts, were replaced with paved roads and gas stations. Horses, you could still find them. But the automobile, that was the future. A big city example of the automobile influence on architecture is this, the Chrysler Building in New York City adorned with hood ornament gargoyles and hubcaps, the use of metal and chrome in the iconic Art Deco diner is also influenced by the automobile. Automobile influences included rounded corners, aerodynamic streamlined form, and the use of metal or chrome. A second influence on the culture in the 1920s and 30s was a modern art style created by this man, Pablo Picasso. Picasso began reducing images to geometric equivalents. Clean lines now defined the art. Colors were often removed from reality, sometimes exaggerated, sometimes muted. The style was called Cubism. Modern art influences on Art Deco architecture included the use of clean lines, geometric shapes, and exaggerated or muted colors. The third major influence on the era was King Tutankhamun. King Tut was an Egyptian pharaoh from about 1300 BC. In 1922, an archeologist unearthed something the world had never seen before, the relatively intact tomb of an Egyptian pharaoh, King Tut. Newspapers made the discovery famous, and by 1925, Egyptian styling was becoming popular on jewelry, furniture, interior design, and architecture. Influences on Art Deco architecture include the use of sunbursts, a horizontal emphasis, ziggurats or pyramid-like roofs, and the prevalent use of threes. And that brings us to Gulf Oil. In 1932, the Gulf Oil Company built their new headquarters in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here's the building as it stands today. Notice the ziggurat or pyramid-like effect on the roof. Well, that same year, they set out to build a showpiece gas station along the Lincoln Highway. The Lincoln Highway was the country's first coast-to-coast -coast road. It stretches across America from New York City to San Francisco. And in the 1930s, it was bustling with travelers who set out to see America from the comfort of their cars. So, Gulf Oil hired this man, Pittsburgh architect Edward Weber, to do a design for their showpiece station. Now, Weber wasn't normally a gas station designer. Most of his commissions were for public buildings like schools, churches, churches like this one. This is the inside of St. Joseph's Cathedral in Wheeling, West Virginia. When Gulf Oil commissioned Edward Weber is it really a surprise that his gas station was fashioned after a church? 
an Egyptian church. Here's a picture of an ancient Egyptian temple. Notice the pattern of three, tall, short, tall. Weber took this look, modified it a bit, and voila, Dunkel's Gulf. His design was short, tall, short, with a flat roof tapered at the top. Weber even included some Americanized hieroglyphs in the horizontal banding along the top. So to sum it up, Art Deco is simply a term that we apply today to categorize the modern architecture of the 1920s and 30s. The term actually came from a 1925 World Fair held in Paris, France. The exhibition of modern decorative and industrial art was held to highlight the relationship between art and industrial design. In the 1960s, this exhibition name was the origin for the term you now know as Art Deco. There are still some old Art Deco gas stations in the United States today, but to our knowledge, this Egyptian temple design is the only one still standing. It's still a gas station, and it's still full service.